clips. I'm contemplating on either cleaning it first or taking off the parts first, but I have no idea. I don't know. Let's see what happens. This is the reason why it was leaking. Simple O-ring. Oh, but also, yeah. The dude... The, the, the owner before me had taped this because he told me the line was leaking. This is not what you do, bro. This is not what you do. Got both of the fittings. I got a straight one on here and I got a 90 on here. The 90 is going to go to the fuel rail and then this straight one is going to go straight to the fuel pressure regulator that's over here. So, uh, yeah, this is the first time I ever do this shit and it kind of turned out pretty good. I'm kind of, I'm like really happy that I went with the push lock instead of the other like AM fitting that you have to twist on because I know the other ones are a pain in the These were a pain, but I know the other ones are like even more of a pain. But um, yeah, man, I'm gonna tighten these clamps up. I'm gonna put this one back up here and I'm gonna tighten this one up and then uh, we'll run the line right back through the motor and uh, get her done. This is why you don't start your car with old gas. It shit looks like pee, bro. So in that last clip you guys saw that my father said that the fuel was still leaking and it's because these fittings right here as you can see I can move them with one hand but they're not even on they're not even on tight like that both of these so um, this fuel rail is garbage and I'm getting a new fuel rail in the mail but in the meantime I'm gonna end it here thank you guys for watching if you guys are new to the channel please subscribe hit that bell button so you can stay tuned with the whole Eclipse build. I appreciate you for staying to the end, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.